what's up my name's Courtney welcome to my channel welcome to wedding series episode 2 and in this video I'm going to show you the things I've either purchased or been gifted since getting engaged it would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button and join my friend group hit that notifications bell as well so you're notified whenever I have new videos that become live I have lots of wedding planning videos coming soon so make sure you stick around for those I also wanted to say this video is not sponsored and let's go ahead and get started items that I purchased after getting engaged was a few pieces of jewelry and I've liked Ana Luisa for a really long time. This is Ana Luisa, this necklace, and then these earrings are also Ana Luisa. If you don't know about Ana Luisa, they are a luxury jewelry company where they try to sustainably source all of their materials and recycled metals to make their jewelry. They also concentrate a lot on sustainably sourcing their materials to make products in smaller batches to be really ethical for the earth and for the environment. So I'm going to unbox the items that I have. Also, the box shows it says smaller packaging, more love, made from 100% recycled paper, and please continue to recycle. So I thought that was really cool that they're trying to use um, the least amount of packaging as possible, and they're trying to be really environmentally friendly with their packaging as well. Each item comes in a little pouch, and these are perfect for taking your jewelry on the go or reusing these little bags, and they're very soft like velvet. So this first item is a necklace, and on this specific necklace, there is a mountain and the sun and I thought that was perfect for where we got engaged as a little memory token. I think that this is a perfect size pendant and it's really similar to the one that I'm wearing. With the necklace I thought I would get a few earrings um, to kind of wear for more like formal events or when we go out shopping. This one came in a different little pouch, a really pretty blue case and it has like a magnetic opening and I thought the shape of these was really pretty. They're little hoops and they have a small jewel at the bottom and it's in a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna put these on with the necklace and let's see how they look on together. The next one is another pair of earrings and these are called the Celeste earrings and they are really cute. They're a little bit mix matched. There's a star on one end and a cute moon on the other. I've been wearing these a lot so I thought I would get another pair to kind of mix it up and have some variety in my jewelry. After getting engaged, I thought it would be fun to get a few white dresses um, to kind of wear when we go shopping or out. And I did a lot of online research and shopping trying to see where and what companies have white dresses. And Lulu's I found to have the most variety and um, I think year round they have bridal dresses. In this time of year, I noticed there isn't a lot of white dress options out in the stores or on other websites. I definitely recommend Lulu's for any shopping that you have. They have wedding dresses, bridal dresses, bridesmaid dresses, normal dresses, and normal clothes too. So there's a lot to look at. If you want $20 off your purchase, again, it's not sponsored, but I have the link so I figured I would share it with you. I feel like this first dress is a, a classic dress to wear out shopping and for like bridal shower type dress. It has a nice chiffon bottom with the lace on top and the lace sleeves I thought were a really nice touch. And I like that it's tighter on top and it kind of is looser at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on and put it on with some of the jewelry and we'll see how it looks. Again, I really like how it's more fitted on the top and flares out at the bottom. I feel like it's a really nice length and I feel like it goes really nicely with the jewelry that I have. And overall, I'm really happy with this purchase.
The next dress is from Lulu's too. And this one is a little bit of a different fit. This one is a little bit more tight. I love the sleeves on this one, on the model at least. I'll put a picture here of the website photo. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this little piece of fabric in the center, but I think it looks really cute. And you can see there's a little bit of a texture it's not just a plain white dress. It has a floral print in the fabric too. So I really like that. I thought that was really pretty. Let's put this one on too and see how it looks. one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments if you like dress one or dress two better. I'm curious. Something that we were gifted after getting engaged was this really cute sign. I had to bribe her with some treats, but I think I ended up getting some pretty cute photos and I'll go ahead and insert those here. The next thing that I purchased after getting engaged was a wedding planner. I'm going to link the website where I got my planner. It's called Erin Condren, I believe. And my cousin used this website for her wedding planner and I really liked it and I thought it was really cute. I decided to customize the front. So I used the picture of where we got engaged. And then on the back is another photo. On the website, you can choose a lot of different types of planners to choose from. You can also choose from one year to two years and they come blank and you just insert all of the stickers and you add the months on each of the tabs. This is what the stickers kind of look like, just all the numbers and then you put them on in accordance to each month. And then it's really cool because there's also different tips. So there's top 10 wedding tips, get organized, picture this, take note, get creative. And then on this page, you can choose your wedding colors, write down some styles and themes that you like, and then most important wedding must haves. There's also a place to put the wedding party and their name, phone number, address, and contact information. Also, there's a place where you can write your vows and I thought that would be really cool to keep this as kind of like a, a memory book and to have my first draft of vows in here. Your seating arrangement and have the table numbers and who's sitting at which table. I don't know for sure if we're gonna have a seating arrangement yet, but it's at least nice to know that I have a way to organize it if I do want to have that. And then a gift log. So here you can write down the name of each person that had given you a gift, what they gave you, so you can say thank you in your thank you card and then you can check off once you've written your thank you card or the gift that you received. In the back here too, there's a bunch of stickers that you can use where you can write in what you are using them for. Yeah, I used one um, because I did arrange a bridal shop appointment. So I used the dress shopping sticker and put that on there with the date and times of my appointment. So that is the planner and I'm really excited to use this to plan everything and stay really organized. Speaking of shopping appointments, my sister and I went into David's Bridal just to get an idea of where I wanted to go look at dresses. So I'll insert a clip here of just us going to the shop and kind of getting an idea for what I liked. check out the bridesmaid dresses that are in the store just to also get an idea of what they have and the price range of everything so that was fun just getting a little peek of what they have in the store my grandma gave us this really sweet gift and it is a frame that is Disney themed and it says love came true for me and you and it has a Mickey and Minnie here and then she put our photo inside so I thought that was a really sweet gift I love getting to look at this every day um, I have it set on my entryway table normally and I just think it's a really sweet memory to have and a really cute frame that it's in. 
My cousin gave me a few little cute things. She got me this I Do notebook and it is Kate Spade. With this notebook, she also gave me a set of three pens that have little diamonds on the top. On this one, it's just a nice silver pen and then these two are the really cute polka dots with rose gold and white. And then she also got us this for Callie, our little dog. It says, my humans are getting married. I am gonna try and get it on her to get a cute little video of her wearing it. Let's see if that is successful. What was that for you? Oh. Okay. Come here. Come here. Do you want your treat? Come here. No, come here. Come here. You want this treat? Sit. Stay. 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 The last gift that we got was from my parents. For a long time, Nick and I really loved Swarovski. We went to Austria a few years ago, oh, a couple years ago now, and we went to the Swarovski store in Austria, and it was kind of cool to see, you know, the history between the company and where it was founded and everything. We got this from my parents. Inside are these two champagne flutes. Inside the glass here are a bunch of Swarovski crystals, so that will be really fun to have these at our wedding and to have the champagne toast with these. I just think that was such a sweet gift to give and um, definitely very personal for us. So we really love these. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and being a part of today's video. I'm so excited for all the videos to come and all of the videos within the wedding series. It would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button to join my friend group. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in another video real soon. Thanks. Bye.